All right, so I'm going to show how to upgrade the SSD on this 13 inch MacBook Air model A1466 early 2014. So you're going to want a Pentalobe uh, 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. And then you'll also want a T5 um, Torx or Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. If you're trying to migrate everything over, you'll want to do a time machine backup first. Um, if you don't need a time machine backup, you can do a clean install using the internet recovery. Um, the method I'm going to use is I'm going to use the internet recovery to do the um, clean install. And then I'm going to migrate the data by putting the Mac SSD into this and then migrating over the data that way. Um, doing this method makes uh, prevents the need of having another hard drive so that we don't have to back up everything to another hard drive and then migrate it over. Um, if this is your personal computer, uh, doing the time machine method is actually uh, better because you do want a backup of your data. So creating a time machine backup would work best. But since I do these repairs for a living, I'm not going to be creating backups for every single person's computer. And also if I do that backup method, then um, then it also wears out my SSDs on like or hard drives unnecessarily, right? So, anyways, we're just removing all the T5 or tor uh, sorry, not the T5, the P5 or Pentalobe 1.2 screws. You want to keep them in order. I put them flat side down in the pattern. I remove them. So there's this rectangular pattern. I just put them on my desk in that pattern. All right. Again, the screws can be different size, shape, and length. So if you mix them up, you can damage your computer. So it's actually important that you keep the screws in order. All right, so once we get all those screws out, we're gonna pull the cover off, just get on the back here, and then pull this up. There is a clip, as you can hear. All right, it's a little dusty, so I'm gonna clean this off and I'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. So now we're going to uh, pull the SSD out. Of course, you wanna make sure that you shut down your Mac and turned it off completely before doing this. So there's one screw here, T5 Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, screw that we're going to remove. Let's go ahead and remove the screw using the Torx 5 screw driver. There we go. Once we've removed that screw, we're going to lift this up slightly, grab it on the sides, and then we're going to just wiggle and pull it back just like that. So there we go. We got the SSD out. <clears throat> now we're going to replace it using an adapter here. So we got this little adapter that converts the slot to connect a M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. All right, looks like this. Okay, oops, hold on, I'm getting messages. Let me make sure to turn off the notifications. All right, so once we got that, we're gonna also get the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD out. All right. Let's pop open the packaging. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach the PCIe NVMe SSD to the adapter. Okay, just get that lined up. You want to kind of put it at an angle just like the other SSD and then push it on all the way. Just like this. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put the SSD with the adapter into the slot. Just like that. Make sure that it's lined up nice and straight. It won't sit on the groove like it did with the original SSD. That's normal. Okay. But make sure that the screw hole is centered and then get the screw in and tighten it down all right just like that and there we go we got the new ssd in place to do this you do want to have at least high sierra installed on your mac if you're using this adapter um, any S, uh, sorry any os beyond that will work fine with this um, and you want to make sure that the OS is set to um, APFS mode, okay? So there we go. We're going to clip that back into place. Let's go ahead and get the hard drive enclosure. We're going to test this before we put it all back together. So we're just going to get the hard drive enclosure here. All right. We're going to put the original Mac SSD into this. Um, this little adapter uses a... PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to undo the screw, so I'm gonna have to switch to that. Okay, so I'm just taking the screw out. Then we're gonna put the Mac SSD in here. Okay, click that into place, make sure it goes in all the way. All right, and then we're gonna tighten the screw in here. All right, let's go ahead and put this into the enclosure. 
just like that. Put this metal cover back on, click that into place. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that it's gonna read the SSD and boot from it. So I'm gonna plug in the charger right now. Open this up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect the old hard drive with the USB cable. And then we're gonna power it up and press and hold the option key. All right, so you're holding the option key down. If it works right, it should show the hard drive here. Hmm, for some reason it's not showing the SSD. So if that's the case, I might have to do it the other way because the enclosure is not seeing the SSD properly. So in that case, I'm likely going to have to do it with the um, time machine backup. Hopefully not. Let's try plugging the hard drive into this port here. It shows the internet recovery as you can see. But it's not showing the internal SSD here. Okay, since it's not showing that SSD, um, it looks like I am going to have to do the time machine backup method. So basically, I'm going to put the original SSD back in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, it just took a while. So we see the SSD. I don't know why it took so long, but now I held the power button. It's probably turning itself off. So let's hold the power button and completely turn it off. I'm actually going to do an SMC reset right now, which is Control Option Shift and the power button. Let me actually do a SMC and PRAM reset, command option, PNR. Wait till it shuts off again, there we go. Now I'm gonna hold the option key again and hopefully it will show the other hard drive again. See if it's going to show the hard drive or not, or the SSD. It doesn't look like it's showing it, so that's kind of strange. It might show it after when I go to like recover the data. So let's unplug this and let's try plugging it in one more time. If it doesn't work that way, I'm just going to do the internet recovery and then I'll see if I can migrate the data over using this. Yeah, that's weird. It's not showing. Very strange. Okay, I'm going to do the time machine backup because that would be the fastest. Uh, oh, there we go. See, it's weird. Why did it take so long? Okay, so we see the hard drive backup here, which is good. Hopefully the internet recovery will... Um, I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Hopefully the internet recovery will... Um, let me install High Sierra. If it has an older operating system, then I won't be able to do it this way. But uh, we'll see. Or I might have to boot from his SSD and then get High Sierra off of it, or install High Sierra first. But um, that's pretty much it. You just put back all the screws. Uh, basically, I'm going to install High Sierra or Mojave on here. Once I've done that, then it's going to ask if I'm migrating stuff from a new, um, an old. Mac or something like that and then I'll just tell it yes it'll migrate from the adapter and that's how we'll get the data so anyways hopefully this video helped you guys if it did make sure to like subscribe and share my channel with others thank you for watching I'll see you all in the next one if you have any questions of course just post a comment and I'll see if I can help all right thanks bye